Hey everybody, appreciate y'all joining me once again. This is Troy. I'm cooking outdoors today. It is July the 4th, 2013, Independence Day. Happy Independence Day, everybody. I'm gonna do some, some pork ribs. I've got the uh, St. Louis style cut ribs. And back here behind me, as you can see, I've got my smoker going. So that I can get her going here for you. There we go. Got my 22 and a half inch Weber Smoky Mountain. She is loaded for bear with hickory and pecan and oak and charcoal. And got a nice little thin smoke going there. Got her up to 225. And again, my new subs that uh, have not seen me do ribs before, I'm gonna show you how I do them. All right, as y'all can see, got my uh, St. Louis style ribs here. I just washed them, patted them dry with paper towel I do not take the skin off the back. I don't take this membrane off, and I also do not take this off. I'll leave this on. This little spare. That's good meat right there, man. All right. You've seen my uh, ribs. You can use mustard or olive oil or whatever you want, some kind of oils. Um, you don't have to use anything at all. I used this Lee Imperial and Worcestershire sauce. Just coat her down a little bit. And uh, the reason I'm doing this, it'll help the rub that I'm going to use stick onto here. Plus I like the flavor of this Worcestershire on here more so than mustard or oil. That's what I'm using today y'all. TexasBarbecueRub.com I like the Texas Wild. They've got plenty of different versions of this, plenty of different uh, rub mixes. They got some for brisket, chicken, whatever you want. Uh, this one is designed for wild game but it, it's really, really good on pork ribs. So I've got a fresh, they sell them in two pound bags like this. You can order them from Texas Barbecue or Texas BBQ Rub.com. I'll put a link there below, uh, you know, below the video. And I've got some here that have already opened. Don't have very much left, so I'm gonna finish this bag, see? Same thing, just a little bit. Don't have much left. I'm gonna finish this bag off and then I'll open this other one. Come on. Get right there. And I like doing this outside more so in, than in the kitchen because once I'm done with this, if I've got any of this rub or wish to share anything on this table, I can just uh, hose it down. Easy cleanup, baby, easy cleanup. Man, my dogs are going nuts. They love it, love it when I grill or smoke stuff outdoors. Absolutely love it. All right, there's the other side. And when you're looking for ribs, make sure you get one that's got all the fat and marbling on it. You don't want those lean looking ribs because they won't give you the flavor that these ones with all the marbling and, and fat in them have. All right, let's bust this one open. This is excellent, excellent rub, y'all. Really, really good stuff. Y'all hear them birds, and birds are even happy I'm out here doing this. Hey, Lucy, what you doing, girl? My little dog Lucy over here. She's watching me. She's sitting right beside the camera. You, you gonna be the camera girl today? Mm -hmm. Is that what you're doing? Just massage all this in, guys. What you want is kind of like a pasty consistency. So if you're not getting that, put a little bit more Worcestershire on here. Oh yeah, now we're getting there. Much better. And the sugars and stuff that are in this rub, they will uh, they'll get kind of tacky when they get moist with this uh, Worcestershire. I don't know if you can see it or hear it. A little bit more on there.
you can't overdo this. This is good stuff right here. So I got this done. We're gonna let this sit here for about 10 minutes. And make sure my uh, Weber Smoky Mountain over there is maintaining 225 like it should. And we'll be right back. All right, folks. My WSM 22 and a half inch. This red and blue border here, that's 225. So I'm doing about 240 right now. I'm going to throw this meat on there. And that will drop it down because the meat's cold. Let's see if we can get this going for y'all. Let me switch hands. actually fit three racks on here and I've got another rack down below I can fit three more so I can do six full racks if I need to. Get some of that goodness on there y'all. Alright we're gonna let this go at 225 we're gonna hold it and it'll probably take Five six hours at 225. So we'll uh, we'll show you here in a little bit what it looks like. All right, guys, we are four hours in. As y'all can see, we're dead nailed on 225. Gotta love these Weber Smoky Mountains, man. So four hours in, that's what it looks like. Oh, oh yeah. Smell the heat, baby. Now, what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna throw some of this tiger sauce on there, y'all good stuff gives a little bit of vinegar in there a little bit of uh, heat so brush it on there just a little bit okay Then we're going to put a little butter on there. I'm just adding layers of flavor like I usually do. For my new subs, this is how I do ribs. <coughs> Sorry, smoke's getting to me a little bit. And I just got some regular old uh, butter. You know, use whatever butter you want. stuff again layers of flavor y'all mm-hmm yummy goodness right there baby oh yeah Yep, there we go. All right. Four hours in, we're going to let that go for a little while. And we're going to throw some more stuff on there. Be back. Everybody, it's been five hours now. Let us check these ribs out. All right. They're looking good. Smoke smelling good. Now, we're going to put on some cola. I got some regular cola here. Oh, keep bed tag. This may be RC cola. You know, you just never know, man. But it's some kind of cola that we're going to put on here just to kind of give it a little bit of extra color and a little sugary flavor there. Good stuff, man. Good stuff. Cola and pork go very well together. Alright. So we're going to put this on here. And then I'm going to put me a little bit of my secret ingredient on here. Y'all see here in just a second. Bear with me. 
And I know I got videos of this before that I've done. This is for my new subscribers mainly. Because, you know, they don't go back. They don't look at the old stuff. You really should, though. I got some good videos. Polo on there. Now, <clears throat> check this out, y'all. Well, there we go. Texas pepper jelly, y'all. Texas rib candy. I like the mango habanero myself. That's my favorite. There you go. Order it yourself. Right there. TexasPepperJelly.com Good stuff. Y'all probably can't see it in the camera but there's a little bit of pieces of habanero up in there and it's not as hot as you think it is because it's got mango which is a sweetener that's sweet sweet and heat told y'all before the sweet cancels the heat so you don't really taste the heat but man is it some kind of good Put it on there just like, just like a barbecue sauce. Mm-hmm. There you go, moonshine. Mm-hmm. Man, that's good stuff. Tell y'all what, man. This will make you cook so much better right here. You know, smoking stuff. Woo! Lord, that's good stuff. All right. Now, it's, again, it's been like five hours. These ribs probably got another hour. So I'm going to let this go about 30 minutes, and then I'll start putting some barbecue sauce on there. And it's going to be some kind of fine, y'all. Y'all still see that smoke coming up there? there? Just. Woo! Man, that's good stuff. All right, folks, we are back. I'm going to use some of this Sweet Baby Ray's Honey Chipotle on my ribs. Sweet Baby Ray is pretty good stuff. Ah. Alright, I'm going to put this on here and just let this go for about another 15 to 20 minutes. Pull them off, let them rest for, I don't know, probably another 15 20 minutes. At that point, we're going to be eating. And I got some, uh, some sides on the inside there in, in the kitchen we're cooking too. Y'all see that here shortly. Alright. Be back shortly. Alright folks. I think these ribs are ready. Aren't they beautiful? The one thing you can do, see if they're ready? Take them and lift them up. And if they've been like 40, like 90 degrees like that one is right there, they're ready. Okay, that one could probably go a little bit longer, but I don't feel like waiting. It's good enough. Good deal. Alright, let's show you. Mm, show you what they look like inside. Check this out. Check this out, man. Come on now. Look, look at them ribs. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Got a whole plate full of them ribs. Check that out. Oh, and Karen made a tater salad with uh, some bacon in it. Lord, how mirthy. It's good stuff. Got some baked beans there Karen made. Whew. Well, I'll tell you what, man. Star of the show. These ribs right here, man. Mm, mm, mm. Lord, Lord, Lord. All right. Mmm. I'm going to taste one of them for y'all. Anyway, here you go. Rib. Rib. Mm-hmm. Watch this. That's a good rib. Mmm. Yeah, man, that's good. Mmm. 
Look, my dog's going nuts. Look, y'all can't see. Hang on. Mm. Forgot my towel. Hang on. Check this out. Look. See here's Buddy. And here's Lucy. Lucy! Hey Lucy! Hey buddy! Y'all want some food, huh? Yeah, I know. Y'all do, huh? My dogs, they eat very well. Man, see that beer sitting over there? Yeah, I know you do. This is a new beer for me. This is uh, from Chippewa Falls, Wisconsin since 1867 Linen Fugles I think Hey man, I don't even know how you say that name Anyway That's what I'm drinking tonight, y'all It's brewed with pride by the Linen Kugel family like, since 1867 it's got, it's got some lemon in it, y'all See that lemon down there? Got a little lemon in there. It's actually pretty damn good. Mm hmm. It's good, man. Um, guys, man. Fourth of July. We're having a good time. You know, I don't do this every day. Love barbecue, though. Mm. All right. We're going to eat. Thanks for joining me. I uh, appreciate it. Everything was wonderful today. My dog is waiting for some bones, some of the rib bones. Rib bones. Anyway, appreciate it. Thanks for all my new subs. Moonshine, call me, man. Call me. We got to talk. We'll see y'all soon, guys. Appreciate it. Happy Independence Day, everybody.